Okay, we're going to look at sketching the conic section, the right conic section on the mouse from scratch and constraining it and see if I can't get it uh, nailed down and therefore help you get it nailed down. So the first thing we want to do, this is a blank part starting fresh, only drawing that right side section. So I'm going to pick the right plane, I'm going to pick sketch and go into there and then um, now, if I just randomly, uh, that's probably not the way to do it. I need to show you, let's do this. Um, let's make a horizontal, a vertical line, horizontal line. That's going to be our T post, our center and our anchor. So, um, line tool pick, and I'm going up here. And I'm going to go something like that. And then I'm going to do a T post. 2.5 is the, um, the size. So I'm actually pulling it close to size from the start. And then I can tune it uh, 2.5. And now I get a midpoint of this curve and this curve. All right, so this vertical line is on the on the mid plane. The hor and this line is horizontal. That's important that um, we have the horizontal here. I'm not sure what that horizontal is. Um, that's funny. Um, I didn't anticipate seeing that. If I delete it, what do we get? Okay, there shouldn't be a horizontal, and I don't know what that was. So right now, because I drew one line, which is a horizontal line, and that's the constraint. Um, here, a vertical line constraint, this endpoint on the anchor, and then the midpoint. That's all the constraints that you should see. So I guess I'm going to say, make sure that step by step, you check your constraints that, so that you know exactly what you have right and then um, this guy I think what happened this endpoint was horizontal to that endpoint and that's not what we wanted we wanted it to be coincident because see I can drag that uh, no the midpoint takes care of it it's the dimension that's missing sorry so we'll put the dimension here and 0.625 So I believe this is to scale. However, both of these guys should be center construction lines. Okay. Um, now we've got a couple of other construction lines to make. And once again, I advocate putting, since we have a visual of where we're heading, to go ahead and draw these things first and get them set up right because they're going to be what's guiding things so these two should be equal length um, right and they should be symmetrical across the mid plane because what what they're doing is controlling the shape of the conic in a minute so right now I can pull this guy and the other one moves. See that? And we want that behavior because that changes the shape of the conic. Now we can go ahead and give a dimension to this to make sure that we've got it constrained. So vertical, I've been putting 0.5 and it's arbitrary, but this angle, it's arbitrary, but we want to watch what it does to the shape of our conic. Now we'll make that at uh, 80, something like that. So now our armature is in place. Now we just need our conic and to get it shaped. Now what I'm going to recommend is we get the conic tool and not immediately step snap to there, but come here and then draw the conic somewhere down here and drag it and then come here 
and draw the conic and snap it to there and drag it. Um, both of them are five, right? Okay, so now it looks a little funny still. Um, and I am going to start by going, making this tangent to this line. That way when I move this line, it always it causes this to move smoothly. So I'll click the conic first, the line second, the conic first, the line second. All right. Now I'm going to work on the relationship of this point and this point to each other. Um, I know for this to look tangent that this point needs to be right across from that one as does this one but also for them to move the same they have to be symmetrical I think what I'm going to do is set up the horizontal first and then the symmetrical relationship using the, the right plane. Be aware of the lag in the system because I clicked that and it, I thought I had it highlight, but it didn't. But there's a lag when the, when the program talks back to the server. So sometimes we have to slow down. Hit escape. Move that there. So now I know that, for example, um, because this is tangent, to this line that means this point really is straight parallel with this line so as this line moves this is going to have to move in and out let's test it let's make this a driven dimension and then let's grab this and pull see how this point is staying parallel if there were a line extending to there it would be perfectly parallel Okay, so that feels good. Now the last thing that we're going to do is bring, um, oh, I don't know that I have this point horizontal to this point. I don't think we do. So I believe that's what we want to set up first before we snap it to there. Because that's just going to control the height. That's all we want it to do. All right. Now, because this is horizontal to this, it causes it causes this to be smooth across the center. We no longer can make it look like a V. And I'm believing that one more click is going to completely define the the section. Um, so let's see if that's true. Here we go coincident and we're going to pick this point and this point and um, again there's a lag in the system let's try it again that point it's highlight and that point boom and look it didn't go black why uh, oh because of this right here I had made it weak so make it strong and boom. Okay. Whew. I thought it should be, but because I made that a driven dimension, um, it still had, we still had the ability to manually manipulate the section. Okay. So if we change that to 80, and we got that shape there. And I believe we'll pull this up in our other one. We had another arc. But that and that arc's height was controlled by a Pierce relationship to the front plane, but we don't have that here. So we'll just put one. It's blue now. One thing I want to make sure is that the center point stays on. As long as these guys, the relationship are there, we should be good. But we're going to Let's go ahead and put a height dimension 
which was actually not in the sketch. Remember, it, the height was controlled by the front, piercing with the front crown. Um, but I'm just going to put it there so we can see. So that represents everything we need for, for this section. So the key thing with the conics, don't snap them to the origin point too soon, but establish all the relationships that they need to one another if you have two of them. And go from there. So I'll stop this here video and I'll share it with you guys.